Okay, I am going to show you how to sign up for Edpuzzle correctly. Okay, I am going to go to Schoology here and I'm going to go to the course. I'm going to go to this Edpuzzle assignment and here is a code. The easiest thing for me to do is copy and paste it. So I'm going to pretend I'm in fifth period and I'm going to copy this code, okay? And um, I can right click it and copy it. Okay, I can um, use control C to copy it. Now I'm gonna go back to Edpuzzle and I've never signed up for Edpuzzle before. So the important thing is do not click log in, click sign up, click sign up. Also important here, do not click I'm a teacher, you must click I'm a student or it will not work correctly. Click I'm a student and click sign up with Edpuzzle. Okay, here is where I'm gonna put that class code and remember I copied it so I can right click and paste it in here. I can control V and paste it in here or just type it in and click next. Oh, and it says, look, it was the fifth period, perfect. I'm going to type my first name, type my last name correctly. For my username, to make your life simple, type your 900 number, okay? And use your regular school password. This will make it easy for you to remember how to log into Edpuzzle. Click join class. Okay, now I'm in the class and can see the current assignment that is given, okay? When I start watching the video, okay, I'm going to start it. Okay, now I have a the first question. I can X this if that pops up, but uh, what is the magnification of the eyepiece? I'm gonna choose what I think my answer was. Click Submit. Okay, it says I got it right, awesome. Now click Continue. I can pause it, I can come back to it later, um, but I won't be able to skip ahead unless I've already watched it. 